The breakthrough generation consists of people born between 2000 and 2015. We chose this time period because it was the most impactful years of our lives and many important things were invented or became big in these years that shaped this generation. The first characteristic to describe the breakthrough generation is tech savvy. Everything we do involves technology such as school, work, and communication. People born in this generation are more understanding of how to use technology and the uses of it. Number two is reliance. We rely heavily on technology for everyday activities such as communication or GPS. Kids rely heavily on their parents to give them money and to help them achieve things in life. Families rely heavily on fast food and convenience stores to supply them. Number three is lazy. People go out to eat more and kids don't play outside anymore because they would rather be on their technology. If we have a problem, we Google it instead of finding out the answer or picking up a book. The fourth characteristic of the breakthrough generation is independent. People are promoting to be who you want to be in society. Gays are making strides in the community. Strong female figures are taking important roles in society. On the other hand, number five is hyper self-aware. People, especially young girls, care a lot about and are very self-conscious about their appearance. This is largely due to society praising a perfect image on TV or using Photoshop in magazines. People in our generation care so much about what is going on in other people's lives, especially celebrities or people in reality TV shows. Also, we share our whole lives on social media, allowing others to see our lives and we see theirs. The seventh characteristic of our generation is competitive. People always want to have the newest brand name clothes and the newest phone. Getting into college is harder than ever due to the hard academic requirements. And to excel in sports, kids are training more than ever. <laughs> the last characteristic is adaptable. Kids in this generation are more adaptable to large changes in society, such as gay marriage, technology advance advances, changes in the school system, and changing lifestyles. What do you think a visual symbol of this generation is? I think a visual symbol of your generation are fast food logos. Like what? Like the arches from McDonald's, the Domino's and Domino's Pizza, the girl on the cup and the Starbucks cups. Why do you think that's a visual symbol? I think your generation has been raised running from one activity to the other, and you don't often have time for a full sit-down dinner. So you've grown accustomed to going to these restaurants, and now you find that it's easy, it's inexpensive, it's flavorful. I think the restaurants have also targeted you guys to make you, um, to encourage you to come to their restaurants as social outlets to meet up with friends. One visual symbol of this generation is name brand logos, such as North Face. People nowadays always want the nicest clothes and want to have better clothes than their friends. What do you think a visual symbol of our generation is? I think technology, for sure. Like Apple, for instance. Why? Why? Yeah, because your generation is all into technology. It's a very critical component of the future. What do you think about Apple? Apple's a really, really good company. They've done a lot of really good things, but... Um, as a startup organization and a software technology company, they've made it very, very difficult to develop on their platform. So developers have to really, really struggle and companies have to pay a lot of extra money too to be able to work with the Apple application. So do you think our generation views Apple differently than you do? Um, you know, I am old, Jenna, <laughs> but I can use Apple. I've had a Mac computer for about 10 years now. Oh, I really like it. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. What is a historical moment that shaped this time period? September 11th, 2001, the U.S. was shocked when there was a terrorist attack on the World Trade Centers in New York. It killed over 2,000 people, and it was a, one of the first times that Americans felt the fear of terrorism in the U.S. Can you give us another historical moment? On August 26, 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit the southern coastline of the U.S., killing more than 1,800 people and leaving more than 10,000 stranded in the New Orleans Superdome for days. What is one historical event that occurred in our generation? Um, I would say leave.
legalizing gay marriage because kids nowadays are more adaptable to changes than past generations. And that also goes along with being independent because people are willing to express themselves because society is somewhat accepting of like how people want to be, like gay marriage. Gay is okay. How does YouTube and Google change the way we view things? Uh, Google helps me now whenever I can, whenever, and YouTube, then I can watch different tutorials on whatever I want to make and watch what other people are doing. One of the biggest social trends is social media. How do you think it's changed our generation? Uh, I think that the biggest way it's changed our generation is through Facebook and Twitter. Uh, with those two things alone, I know that in 7th and 8th grade, people were blowing up the old hashtag. Uh, and because of that, we find out what happened, when something happened, how it happened within minutes of, say, an accident, or say, you know, someone wins the lottery, or someone broke their neck. And that's really crazy because, you know, 20 years ago, you heard about it from a friend who heard about it from another friend, and you might not find out about something for days on days. It's 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 just a snap of a finger that you find out about something now. It's crazy. What do you consider a social trend that is occurring in our generation? I would say Starbucks because Starbucks is kind of like the place to be, and a lot of kids in our generation just go there, even if it's just for studying or doing homework or whatever, and they can bring their computer and just hang out with friends and get some coffee mm -hmm. or something refreshing. Who do you think is a key figure in our generation? Gabby Douglas. Why? Because she won the gold medals in the Olympics. Why do girls like you look up to her? Because she's young and she went through racial barriers and she grew up poor. And I'm a junior, so I look up for her. Tell us about a key figure in this generation. Uh, I can. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Michael Jordan. What has he done that you think is so important? Well, uh, I think that he's a huge inspiration to me and a lot of people because, as a lot of people know, he got cut from his high school basketball team, and he ended up being, well, arguably the greatest player of all time, better than B. LeBron James, who is a bucket of trash. Uh, the reason for that is because of his work ethic. He, and he's inspired me in that sense because he's worked harder than a lot of people. Uh, after practices, he'd stay around, he'd shoot, 2,000 shots, you keep shooting, wow. you keep getting better. And that's a, that's big for a lot of people because it, it, it shows people that in order to succeed, you need to work really hard. I think that's important in our generation. Can you tell me about his shoes? I, I'd love to talk about his shoes. Uh, his shoes are so valuable at this point that if you were to go on eBay right now and purchase a pair of them, you are looking at spending about $5,000. No. The reason for that is because of his hard work ethic and how great of a player he is. Oprah is a key figure of this time period because many people look up to her because she revolves around giving back to less fortunate and encourages people to live life to the fullest. We've had many cultural milestones in this generation. The DVDs overtook the VCR and Netflix overtook DVDs. Yeah, it did. Can you tell me about that and how that's changed the way we do things? I would love to. Uh, Great. I would say the biggest milestone that you just mentioned was Netflix, the ability to live stream on the spot wherever you are. Say you're at an airport, instead of reading books, now people watch movies. Uh, if you're just on the streets walking around, I have seen people watch videos just from their phones. You know, you have YouTube on your phone, you have, everything is mobile now because everyone's on the go and it's really cool. I mean, even cars have Netflix in it with Wi-Fi. Uh, you can basically do anything. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's nice. You like that? I do. I do too. What's a cultural milestone of this generation? I think a cultural milestone is Amazon and online shopping and how in the past we used to have to go places to do all our shopping. Now we can actually from our home uh, buy any products we want, have it shipped to us as fast as we want and really just makes our life a lot easier from a shopping perspective. One of the largest cultural milestones of our generation was the election of the first black president, Barack Obama. Um, this had a large impact on our society because it broke down a large racial barrier in America. An overall visual symbol for the breakthrough generation is the Wi-Fi symbol. Wi-Fi has changed the way we use the internet and electronics wirelessly. 
This sums up the constant need to be on our phones using the internet, Snapchatting, or streaming videos. We chose our general anthem to be the chorus of the song All About That Bass by Megan Trainor. We chose this song because it had an upbeat tempo and it encouraged kids to love their bodies and not care what people think about them or what society says.